Hello everyone, Alunda Silva here and today I'm going to show you how you can force save QuickTime player videos. So if you happen to be doing a screen recording and at the end of your recording you actually notice that QuickTime has refused to save your video, your content, then don't get discouraged. I'm going to teach you actually a very astute way today um, through which you can actually recover your video without having to redo it again. So I shot this video, you can look at my screen. I shot this video, um, this screen recording, and QuickTime has refused to save it. Let me just show you that quick one. So I want to save this file. So I'm going to press command S. I want to save it. So I'm trying to save it. So yeah, this can really come handy. It's actually a very, very, I'm actually going to talk to you about two ways through which you can actually recover your own saved um, videos. Um, they're very simple, but if you don't know, you see, you might, you know, have to close the application and start the video again, which can be really annoying sometimes, especially if it's a long one and you have done it. You can see it says cannot open. So QuickTime cannot actually save this. So what to do? So the first one, which is actually um, a very simple one, I'll just go right into it, is to send your content as um, an attachment via email. So what you can do, let me move this a bit, let me move this up a bit so you can see what I'm talking about. Here you see the share button. So move your content as an attachment via email. When you do that, QuickTime is going to create an attachment, obviously. And send it to you. I, I advise you send it to yourself. So send it to yourself, and then download it. I'll send it to myself. So let's say like this. Send it to yourself. That's just fine. I'll send it to myself. I send it to my email, so after some time, I'll open my email. And then basically, um, I don't want to see my email, but basically what you have to do, after sharing it via email, open the email and download it. Then you'll be able to, to save your content on your desktop or something. The second method, the second me method and how you can actually force um, save your uh, quick time recordings that have refused to save is actually um, go to the auto save quick time auto save folder. Now for this for this path, I won't be able to use um, quick time. So I'm I won't be able to use the screen recording to show you. It's not going to work. So I'm going to verbally tell you and i'm also going to leave um a description below this video you will see it you are going you're going to see it somewhere so basically what you have to do you you close the application you close quick time quick time player and then you simply access the auto save folder by pressing command shift g right now it's not going to work because I'm obviously using it. So command shift G and it's going to open a window. When it opens that window, you're going to insert like a certain um, kind of um, a file name. So I'm going to drop the file name below and you insert the file name and then you press go. So when you press go or enter, it's going to open a window with different folders. So just look for a folder that says um, on saved QuickTime document or anything similar click on it open it actually right click and ask for um, show content and identify that this folder is actually the one that you're looking for so when you find it just simply drag it to your desktop and then, yeah it's going to be saved now if you try this and it doesn't work Try the email as I told you. Try try this. If one doesn't work, the other should work. And if both doesn't work, then you might want to um, try a better 
um, screen recording software. And yeah, this is all I've got for you today. I hope this was useful and helpful. So yeah, I'm looking forward to connecting with you. And as always, leave me a comment below and let me know your thought. And if you try this and it works, let me know how it went for you. And yeah, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.